during previous series, I've often noted the fact that a lot of the code I create is available on GitHub. But what is GitHub, and how do you use it? These are the questions I'm going to answer during the course of this series. And to answer the first question, GitHub is a website which allows you to actually host backups of your projects in a location which is obviously separate to your own working directory on your computer. This allows you to do multiple things, for example, sharing the code with different people, as well as being able to actually manage the code in a more effective manner than simply creating zip files with different versions of the code in. If we take a quick walk through the Stretch Projects GitHub page, you can see that on the left we obviously have information relevant to the Stretch Projects account. Then we have information about repositories. These are all of the repositories which are available and which are all publicly accessible. So for example, you can click into the Stretch League repository and here you'll find all of the files relevant to the Stretch League series. If you don't want to get too in-depth with how GitHub actually works, you can of course download this file as a zip file, which you can then extract into your local working directory and then begin to work on this project yourself. And if you click on commits at the top, you can see that this gives us a history of each individual step in the progress of the development of this project. So at the beginning you can see that we obviously created a new project. And then towards the end, you can see that we're bug fixing different things, as well as adding different files. And we will of course go into this in more detail later on. Now GitHub is actually a lot more than just a simple file hosting service. One of its biggest strengths is the fact that it allows multiple people to work on the same project at the same time. So for example, you can see at the top right here, we have one contributor for this project, which is of course myself. But there are no limits to the number of possible contributors a project can have, which makes collaboration very easy. Now if you want to be technical about it, Git is considered a version management system, or version control system, and there are other alternatives available. For example, Bitbucket, SVN, etc, etc. GitHub is one of the most commonly used, however, which is why I'm going to be using GitHub as a demonstration of how to actually go about managing your code. But just be aware of the fact that there are other alternatives, and transferring files between them isn't normally a very big issue. There are many different tools out there to actually transition if you decided, for example, that you didn't like GitHub and instead you wanted to use Bitbucket, you could transfer all of your code easily. In the next video we're going to go ahead and download the GitHub client and begin to talk about how we can use GitHub in our projects. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it.